Hello, I'm psychologist Dr. George Pratt and I'm pleased to be here with you to share ways that parents who are divorcing or have divorced can help their children adjust to the divorce in as healthy a way as possible. When parents divorce for whatever reasons, one of their highest priorities should be the well-being of their children. From toddlers to teens and even for young adult children, the impact of divorce in their lives can be significant and even profound. I'd like to provide some guidelines or tips based on the ancient Hawaiian concepts to help parents make the decision to divorce, the process of divorce, and the aftermath of divorce as minimally unsettling as possible for their child or children. From the wisdom of Hawaiian culture and traditions, I want to start with the spirit of aloha. That spirit is about love, affection, patience, and harmony. Aloha spirit suggests parents will inform their children at the earliest time possible, once the decision to divorce has been made. Children, even the very young, can feel a shift has occurred in the household and in their parents' relationships, even if they don't have words to express their concern. So it's from love and affection toward their children that parents make time, as soon as possible, to explain the impending change in the family circumstance. It would be best whenever possible for both parents to sit and explain the situation together. But when that's not possible or practical, each parent should meet with the child or children to explain what is happening and going to happen. Say as little as needed to convey the essence of the situation, but be truthful about the realities of changes that will occur in living arrangements. What you say will depend on the age of the child. If there's a gap of many years between one child and another, it may be best to inform them separately. Start with the oldest. The older child may have questions and want more details and need more information. Ask that child not to inform the younger ones and to allow you to speak with them first. It's important for each age level to tell them that mom and dad will not be living together and that you and your spouse can't get along together anymore. Inform them that while parents and their children may not always get along, they will never stop loving each other. Tell them that their parents and their children never get divorced. You will always be their parent and love them. Even if you're the sole parent speaking with them, let children know that both parents love them and that separating has nothing to do with them. This message of non-responsibility for the divorce needs to be repeated at every opportunity as children may naturally revert to believing they're at fault for the divorce in some way. In the spirit of Ohana, which is the spirit of family, reassure children that they will still remain connected to the extended family of both mother and father. Confirm that the child's bonds with favorite aunts, uncles, cousins, and grandparents, and others in the extended family will not change due to parents separating. Assure the children that even though parents will be living apart, that both parents will be in their lives and stay connected with them. Physical connection and closeness with hugs, arms around shoulders, and stroking the hair on the back of the child's head during these discussions can demonstrate the connectedness even more than words. From the Hawaiian concept of kuleana comes responsibility. And that responsibility first is to the emotional, physical, and mental well-being of the child. Responsibility means avoiding blaming the other parent, even if the reasons for the divorce are very painful or due to betrayal. Be honest in answering a child's questions, and if you don't know, gently let the child know that you don't have the answer, but that you'll provide one when you can. Responsibility also means to maintain a routine, continue the family rules and consequences, as well as keeping your word and providing promised rewards for good behavior. When divorcing, parents often have added tasks, but they must not allow their obligations to their children to become lower priorities. It's a deeply sad situation when a child expects to be picked up by a parent for a change in custody or an outing 
that they're stood up and left wondering if the tardy parent still loves them. The fourth Hawaiian cultural concept is ho'oponopono, which means to make right and bring peace and resolution in a challenging emotional environment. To bring that principle into the divorce process means to do what is right for your children before you focus on any conflicts between you and your spouse or ex. Don't use children as messengers. Don't quiz children about what the other parent is doing or saying. Don't use a child as a confidant for your feelings or seek their support for your suffering. If you're feeling overwhelmed, emotionally fragile, or have intense emotions such as anger, guilt, fear, or sadness, see a counselor, pastor, therapist, or a divorce support group to help you to deal with these feelings, not your child. Be careful to be out of earshot of your children when speaking to others about your problems or your ex. And when your children can hear your conversations with your ex, keep your words civil and find a more private time to have the discussion. Above all, bring as much peace to their lives as you possibly can. These four ancient Hawaiian wisdoms and these guiding principles will help you help your children do as well as possible through the divorce experience. Thank you for watching.